So this dude keeps turning, and he keeps giving me the, like, the, the I want to fight you signal. So we're just going to go fight him. Oh, he, he mid-air punched me. He just mid-air punched me. What's up, guys? It's Zach. We're back with another episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Shiny Island Challenge. Go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already for new content. As we are continuing on with our Sun and Moon Shiny Island Challenge. Now, we are facing a Hariyama, which is going to be a test for us. Because this is the first time we fought a Hariyama. Also, uh, two cannon. Just peak blast. This is what I love. Whatever attack it just used, they missed. And Toucanon got another one shot. That's pretty great. Good job, Toucan Sam. Going to level 31. Not bad at all. <laughs> and please ignore the green screen. I know it's being a butthead today. It's because of the weather. It is nice, bright, and sunny outside. And we do not like nice, bright, and sunny. So we're going to go up to Memorial Trail. And we're going to go try to fight Olivia. Ooh. So you're the one Gladian was talking about. Hmm. You don't look like anything special to me. I look like I am wearing some freaking nice shorts. I'm Pumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these dumb skulls. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? Y yes. Huge, huge idiots. Don't, don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? No. You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Sure, go ahead. Fight me. I mean, your brothers and sisters are stupid anyway. They just get beat. Real quick. Team Skull Admin Plumeria is trying to battle us. Oh god, it's a gold bat. Oh god, I'm so tired of Golbat and Zubat. When are they going to make a game where that is not the evil team's go-to Pokemon? Oh, Beak Blast. <laughs> oh god, Confuse Ray. Come on. Connect, please. Thank you. I really didn't want to deal with a Golbat. Hey, Regina grew to level 30. Saland it. Swap into Poseidon. Get it, Poseidon. Yeah, that's right. We get a school. We get schooling. And we're going to fight, and because I feel like it, we're going to use Hydro Vortex. Oh, oh darn. I guess I'm just going to Z-Power and destroy your Salander right now. Because I feel like it. Because I can. Poseidon surrounded itself with a Z-Power. It really doesn't matter. I could have killed it with any move. I just really felt like using a Z-Move for no reason at all. I mean, like, I gotta use them as many times as I want, but I just wanted to j just cuz. I guess it's because it's supposed to be a special battle. That and it grew Poseidon a level. So, I mean, why not, right? It's so, whatever. Go, leave me, leave me alone. Go away. No one, no one wants to hear you or your team skull stuff. Now, not everyone is holding an item here. So, we're going to have to do something about that. Um, Grassium, we're going to give to Dr. Hoot. Because I feel like that's going to end up being used in the next battle. Either Grassium or Waterium. Alright, so this is the Ruins of Life. How did I know we'd get to the middle of it and then we'd have to face the Kahuna? Zypher. Burnett. Ah. Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. 
She couldn't even find her way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. Oh, that's bad. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now, I've got to go. The, Roy the Masked Royale has a match, and there's no way that I'm missing it. You mean your husband. That Masked Royale. What do you think he looks like under that mask, anyway? He's your husband. I came here for Nebby, though... As you saw, I did come I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh look at poor Toucan. Let me heal it for you, won't you? Yay! Heal my Pokemon. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. Yes. You. I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Melee too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? Cosmog will never tell. Just think what would have happened if you, if Zypher hadn't been back there, back then. Again, reading level of a third grader. Oh, I haven't... Oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? Oh yes, my name's Lily. I work for Professor as Professor Kukui's assistant. And this is Zypher. Oh, sorry, I've never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Zypher, thanks for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. Please don't make me fight her right now. Please don't make me fight her right now. Alright then, you've completed the trials of the three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. Not yet. Fine, I don't want to win just because you weren't prepared well enough. Only thing we're doing is we're switching Regina from bottom to top. Because I want Regina to fight whatever it is first in her party. Because I want to say that Regina actually did something in between the last trial and this trial. Like, getting caught and actually facing. Alright. And she's rock, right? Great, we're gonna give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Yes, okay. So does this mean that she's got a rock rough or a lichen rock? By Kahuna Olivia. Oh, that's a nose pass. Let's go, Regina. I'm gonna go for a nice razor leaf. Oh, that's a decent deal. Oh, that was a crit. Uh, T wave. I hate nose pass for that specific reason. Um, magic leaf. How much power does this do? Okay, magic leaf never misses, but razor leaf does more. Oh my god, no. Nose pass with the rock slide. Mmm. Okay, so no paralysis. <coughs> as long as it doesn't take it into the red, I'm fine. Um, she shouldn't use a potion on it. No! Seriously? Come on, Regina. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Regina, you got this. Just one razor leaf hit. Just land it. Yes! Okay. Yes, Regina got that kill. He's about to send in Boldor. Switch. Um, go into... Poseidon. Boldor most likely is going to have Sturdy. So I've got to figure out a way to get around Sturdy. Um. Oh, beat up. Beat up. Well, that's going to do nothing. Nothing. 
It should hit five times, though, shouldn't it? It should hit once for every Pokemon on the team. Fight. Beat up. Gets all party member to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater the number of attacks. Oh, it does five. It can do a maximum of five hits. So the party Pokemon attack it, not the actual Pokemon. Okay. So we're going to dive. This should end the Bulldore next hit. Bulldore used Headbutt and missed. And Poseidon's going to use Dive and just wreck its face. Because it's only level 26. And like I said, the whole team is overpowered. And there's the Lycan Rock. Um, switch Pokemon. Ooh. Uh, Dr. Hoot. We're going to go into Dr. Hoot. We're going to make this battle extremely easy. There we go. The Shiny Decidueye. Oh, totally deserves this. Oh, Lycanroc, Midnight Form. So, Midnight... I, I Oh, interesting. So, I'm assuming in Moon, they have Midday Form then. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, We're going to go for a Z-Power. Bloom Doom. I'm going to set my 3DS down for this real quick. Ooh, that bite was like massive power. Ha ha ha. Decidueye, use your Z move. Get wrecked, like and rock. Ha <laughs> ha ha. I, I could have actually just fought it with whatever I wanted, but, you know, I had to I had to be fun. And we're going to do a little bit of a Pokemon care as well. How lovely. Ah, oh, we got $4,320, which is nothing. Half the clothes I've been buying are, like, that much. No, my poor little Regina. No. The paralysis is spreading. Yay! She's she looks so happy. She looks so happy. Affection. I was gonna say your if your affection better be three. Oh god! Everyone's affection is like basically zero. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go back to Regina. And we're, we're just going to make her, like, super happy real quick. Yay. Eat your grass one. Yup, that's right. That, that, that's da damn straight. Get, get super happy. No. I'm about to rub you. Make you super happy. Alright, where does... Where is your, like... I don't like... Okay, so she doesn't like being touched there. Are you gonna get mad at me for touching this? What about, what about the ear? So that's like her super happy spot. Yay. Cool. All right. So we're, we're done there. We're done. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. Okay. You guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal. The Rockium Z is all yours. Rocky. 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 I don't know if that's supposed to look like a fist or a rock or... What, but it doesn't look like anything I would know of. Grand trial completed, and we got another stamp. God, if we had done an actual shiny stamp quest, that would have sucked. That would have sucked. We got two stamps only. The rock type Z power. You have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hit movement is crucial.
cool. What a what a dance. Use it well, the rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. It's nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. Yikes. This game is full of innuendos. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but... Why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs. Unless they are strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Wait. That can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope... It, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take your, I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Is she gonna take Lily back to town or all of us back to town? She's taking all of us back to town. Hey, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Hal from Iki City. You gotta let me battle you. Oh, hey, Zephyr. Guess what? This weird green guy from Aether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Aether Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants with you, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The Aether Foundation? Um, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to go see how Hal's battle goes, too. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know th that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you, too. I may not be as strong as my Gramps, Hala. But I can still raise up Brion and the rest of my team to do their best. Ha, you still only have a Brion. You're just Hal, right? And what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what Hal can do. Oh, sweet. So we don't even have to watch his battle. We can just straight up fly to the Grand Resort. Um, okay. So we gotta go to Royal Avenue. Hop on Charizard. Fly over there. Um, what was that? Pink Nectar. Oh, it's a camera opportunity. All right. Oh, oh, it's a Butterfree. It's a Butterfree. Oh, I want to get it and better. Okay. So I'm going to place it right here. Okay. Go left. Down. And I want to get one right. Oh, I want to get it when it's perfectly in the crosshairs. Ah, okay. Oh, I took all the pictures I could in one go. It's fine. Use that one. Hopefully they're like, hey, that was a good picture. Too bright? What is, what is this? Okay, so that was not a record thumbs up, but hey, we're getting close. Almost at level 3. Almost at level 3 for our Poco Radar Finder thing. Anywho, so we're going to run over here this way. Oh, look, it's another Malasada shop. Uh, I'm going to hop on Tauros so we can get to the Aether Foundation quicker. So 
There's some punk kids. I totally went the wrong direction, by the way. It said it was supposed to be south of Royal Avenue. I went, I went south of Royal Avenue. Or am I supposed to go south on Route 6? Oh, I'm supposed to go south on Route 6. And then over this way. Aha! To the bridge. The Hano Grand Resort. What a nice looking hotel. I'm pretty sure they don't want people running around on a Tauros around here. So I'm going to hop off of Tauros. You know, there's a beach and everything. Look at this freaking hotel. This looks great. I, I guess they just let people run in. I, I guess we just run in. You're conveniently standing in the middle of the room. Yo, this lobby is huge! So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you something, someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I have, that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. Will you, you will come, won't you? Sure. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. How, I'm assuming you won? Even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ulu Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mally Garden. Cool. We're gonna meet up at a garden. Hopefully we're gonna do another trial soon so we can get our sixth shiny Pokemon. Yep, it's goodbye, Alcala Island. Though, I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. I'm assuming I have to walk to a ferry. No, no. Ooh. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? It's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Zypher? Really? You knew I could count on you to react. No, oh, I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. I look so happy. I'm so ready for this. I'm super ready. Oh. Oh! Aether Paradise is like super small. All of the tininess. So I don't get to explore the resort anymore? I just... Just all of a sudden ended up on Aether Paradise? Okay. What What's up, Aether people? How y'all doing? Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. So what's going to happen to the Pseudo Widow and the Young Goose? Okay. Aether Paradise is a faci facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though, you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Ooh. So we can't catch any Pokemon we encounter.
Excuse me, Mr. Faba? Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Manager Faba. Now, I must go speak with the President about our conservation effort on Akala. Show these children around, and then take them to meet the President as well. Yo. Who is this lady? Who, who is this person that we're meeting? Oh, she looks nice. Wick. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Zephyr and Hal. My name is Wick. Alola. Wait. You know who we are? How do you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Hal. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Yay for cutscenes that are super long. Shall we zip right up there? Uh, yes, please. This elevator looks, like, super safe. And fast. No, there's a Rockruff and a Pikachu. And the thing whose name I forgot. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if you, they need it. Um, so when did Professor Kukui get it here? Zephyr, you and Howard are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Um, how'd you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the island challenge once I turned 11. Because someday, I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. Wow, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey on their own, choosing what they get to be about their age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Cypher, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Uh, we have no choice in this matter. What is my green screen doing? I'm looking at the game screen, then all of a sudden I see the green screen, and it's just like, it's freaking out. This is what I get for recording on a sunny day. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here, and we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhaunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Um, so I see Corsola, and I see Starmie. Toxapex. Toxpec crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Ooh. Yeah, my gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side. Sure, as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Apparently she says yes. The Aether does, that, does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can it? It's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why do you bother setting up Branch in a place like Alola? Because it's Hawaii? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, Lusamine? She should be here in the conservation area now. And we're going to save it right here, where the green screen's not going to freak out and everything. And I'm actually going to see you guys all in the next episode of the Let's Play. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Peace, and take care.